Right. You alright? Yes, you. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Welcome to my den of iniquity. <laughs> I don't know. It's just sort of a pit of random sort of tat. Yeah, I've already been attacked by the guard dog. You have. You have. Um, our dog <laughs> hates men. Quite rightly, too, um, I'm afraid. Um, and so, yeah, you've been attacked. Um, but... It's okay, you've survived. I, d- I have. I've done three interviews now. The first one, I was attacked by Luke's dog. The mm. second one, I was attacked by a Dalek. Right. And the third one, I was attacked by your dog. So, if well, patterns well. show... I've also got the Dalek, so I think you're going to get a double whammy today. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is, it's been leading to this. Dog, Dalek, dog and Dalek. So Jesus this Christ. Is the, yeah, it's, it's working our way up. <laughs> i got to get out of here. <laughs> right, question time. Mm. I have some questions. Okay. It'd be really awkward if I came all this way and I had nothing. I know, I know. You just, you just sort of turn up like, hi, just thought, you know, pop around. Just, just wanted, like, to, wanted to look at the stuff, really. <laughs> I kind of forgot about the question part. Well, I mean, that yeah. is part of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, you know, it's... Bit of fun for Jack too. Yeah. Uh, question one: What would you say? Because you do a lot of things. Okay. You're 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 known for a few bits and pieces. What would you say you're most known for? Um, it's interesting because it depends where you see me from. Because either it is either the costumes, probably the tenth Doctor costumes, but then I'm getting more sort of noticed currently for the props side of things. Yeah. But originally I did props, and then I I put up a poll on my Instagram saying so. So do we want to... Do you guys like the props? And everyone went, no, just show us the costumes. <laughs> so I went, okay then. And so then I just did the costumes for a bit. And then uh, during lockdown, because there was nowhere to take the costumes to, I went, we'll put the costumes away, we'll do the props again. And so now it's more, I'd say, more for the props currently at the moment because it's sort of um, building up. But the cosplay account's dead at this point. <laughs> my cosplay account is dead because I have no content. But the other prop account is obviously, uh, in like a year, it's got to uh, nearly 2,000 something followers. So I'm kind of just there like... Okay, well, you know, and they're still interacting. Whereas with the yeah. other one, I'm like, I've got, I've got like nearly six thousand of you said over there, but no one's commenting. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess no one cares anymore. Yeah. Um. So it's it's kind of a mix, but I often wear the costumes with the props. So it's, it's yeah, it's, it, it it certainly helps make it look more professional as well. Yeah. Like if you've got a professional tenant thing, but you're also as tenant, mm-hmm. it just elevates it, I suppose. I mean, it's. I make the props so I can play with them, basically. So, <laughs> so having the you know, once I had the costume, I was like, well, now I want all the fun props to run around with because if you know, if whilst I love the character options toys as a part of my childhood, and they are you know accurate to the show because they're used as stunt props, you kind of just go, now I want a metal one just to shine at doors and pretend that I you know, you know, pretend that I am some sort of uh, time lord <laughs> when in fact I'm not. But it's just it's just fun, isn't it? Yeah, d- d- I didn't know they use character options as stunt versions. Sometimes, so um, I'm not always a hundred percent on this effectively, but uh, I know in the Matt era they used a lot of character options ones because he kept dropping the real ones, uh, which yeah. which, <laughs> which led to out. them being uh, broken. There's some shots where you can clearly see it's a character options rather than that. I think, and I'm not a hundred percent sure on this. I don't know, but I think the that when when the Sonic gets blown up in the eleventh hour, I think it's briefly a character options one Ooh. that's been sort of bashed up a bit but go frame by frame but i can't i can't quite remember if it is but it's definitely not one of the original props whether it was a resin stunt copy or whether it was one of them is is different but um there was also a point in the christmas invasion i think that one of the stunt uh, so the co had a prototype for their toy mm. and i believe that they used a copy of the co prototype mm. briefly uh in in one of the episodes like the christmas invasion um, or the Runaway Bride's one of those Christmas specials. Yeah. That's really interesting. I, I I love hearing sort of new behind the scenes tidbits. I mean, I I've picked this up from other people. So when she said that, I'm kind of going, okay, let's try and briefly remember these things. So don't take any <laughs> of that as the truth. That may be all completely wrong. But as far James as James Sutton, professional liar. <laughs> I'm, I'm, to clarify, if, uh, there's probably some experts <laughs> sat out there going, "What's he saying? Oh my god, he's an so, idiot! Oh god, what's he done? <laughs> what's, he's he's you know there'll be a comment underneath being like, I'm 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 why have you done this to me? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, I've disrespected your research, but no, um, I know. In, uh, but later on, the Capaldi era, like one of the props, the one in oxygen that gets like crushed. Mm. Spoilers. Um, sorry, it's it's been like four years. Um, <laughs> Effectively, in in that in that episode, it's it's a two halves of a character option Sonic with like a foil bit in the thing. It was put up for auction oh. recently, so you too could own this broken character options toy. Who wouldn't want a broken character options toy? What? <laughs> I imagine someone at home be like, I could just do that at home. Snaps theirs in half, and it's just like, oh no. Anymore, so yeah, <laughs> they're all broken. Well, I bet you've got millions of those though. I mean, even yeah. just. 
just for like reference or to use the parts? Uh, yeah, so I've 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 customized a few of them. You can't see what we're looking at. We're just staring up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I, I've yeah uh, up there effectively is a pot, sort of like the one from uh, the pilot episode with Sonics, and that's what we're looking for. Um, for those who can't use your imaginations, <laughs> I could use clever editing or be yeah. imaginative. There is a, there's only three Sonics in there, so it's not even like there's enough to warrant you even yeah. showing that. It's effectively, the, there's toys. It's the Capaldi one, the Whitaker one, and which one is that with the red top? Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell. Look, the ones, the classic ones look very similar, okay? Mm-hmm. I've got a little list in my home of mm-hmm. which one's which. Yeah. That one's got a gold band. What I know the Pertwee one. Let's get... Anyway, mm-hmm. I'm, get, I'm getting off track. Yeah. <laughs> so, on the same track as the Sonics... Oh, oh yeah, I've, I'm linking them, see? Yeah. Up here for thinking, down there for dancing. Yeah. But um, <laughs> out of the sort of Sonics you make, which would you say is your favourite from a creating standpoint? Ooh, I would say probably... See, it depends, because I'm working on some new ones that are quite cool. So, well, they're not Sonic Stanley. We, we did the laser screwdriver for Big Finish for the Warmaster. Oh, yeah. And that was really cool. Um, so that was brilliant sort of to work, because I was working with my friends, um, Sonic Belt props and Cybernetic props. Um, and so we were working... It was great to work on a sort of collaborative aspect of that. But I'd probably say from my own, just me working on them, uh, probably the uh, fourth Doctor ones. Oh, really? Um, because I hate the Pertwees. <laughs> I hate what, what's the, so wrong about the Pertwees? The paint job. That is... So oh, OK. The rest of it's lovely. I've got no qualms with the rest of it. <laughs> it's when I have to do the barbershop pole and then put tape on the handle and stuff, because the handle originally had electrical tape wrapped around it, effectively, on the Pertwee one. Right. But you're sat there with, like, a guillotine, and you're just going, OK, you're just going to... Sh- and then you go there, and you're like, OK, and oh, then it starts to peel off, and it's just... And then you're just like, I'm, I'm following the pattern I've made up. Someone died. Oh, no. <laughs> um, f- f- forgive me. Did I not mention the slaughterhouse upstairs? No, I don't oh. think you did. Silly me. I know for next time. I'm yeah. not getting out of here. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, guillotines. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the guillotines you heard just then, actually. Oh, yeah. It was just a sharp a scream and then a stop. <laughs> um, you know, um, it's like revolutionary France upstairs, basically. Oh, that's good. Vive la France. Vive la, um, la France. Revolution. <laughs> that's the lame is. Yeah, I was, was going to say, I am Javert. Um, <laughs> but effectively, uh, <laughs> sorry, um, <laughs> mildly off track. Uh, but yeah, so it's horrible. It's awful. I'm, I'm, there's also, so when you're doing the Pertwees, what I do is I, I put on primer, then you put on the black, and then you have to wrap a cable round the black bit, and then you have to carefully spray on the yellow so that right. it then doesn't bleed underneath the cable. Then you peel the cable back and it leaves the swirl. And that only works like once out of ten times. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, like, sometimes the paint goes underneath the cable or the cable sticks to the black paint and then it peels it up and you're just left with a silver swirl. And then by that point, I've lost my mind and gone, why is this happening? Um, yeah, that sounds... Insane. Also, I like the uh, hand acting you were doing. You were Thank miming you. it. Thank you. You can I'm, see it in your mind's I'm eye. I'm very visual. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> I think we've all sort of... Whether we did that before or not, I don't know. But I think a lot of people just accidentally picked that up from Smith. Yeah, Because he's Smith such a handsy us. boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Sorry. You're just like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm the same. Like with, I can't help but, if I'm wearing a coat, put my hands in the pockets like Tennant does. Yes, you do I, that. I know I learned that from him. Yeah, it's that. Ruined coats. It's that. And sometimes I've, I've picked up so much from... Because I was I used to listen to like audiobooks. Like there was like the Stone Rose that came through with the Radio oh, yeah. Times and the Feast of the Drowned and the Resurrection Casket, those went there, so I put them on at night, and then gradually I started to try and mimic them to the point that now I can't turn it off. So, like, I'm not trying, but there's there's some things I say that I'm like, oh, you idiot, you've stolen that from him. He's, yeah. you know, and so I'm just, so I was doing, I was with uh, DW 2012, and when I try to act, it really comes out badly, so I'm just there, <laughs> so they're just like, so, so which Luke, is good, because you play st- all the roles. I play all the roles, yeah, so, yeah, the Luke's just there behind the camera going, you've gone tenant again, I'm like, <laughs> Like, oh no what have I done um, and so um, yeah and so it's just but yeah no with DW2012 I play like everyone um, yeah we're, 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 we're jumping topics list of stuff before um, 
So I was the main one was Omega. Um, I was Omega in the movie. I played Omega too once. <laughs> Did you? Were you a body of Omega? <laughs> oh no, your fan. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say oh dear. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. It was my best efforts. Not all of us. Masterpiece. Honestly, where where was the Oscar? You were robbed. <laughs> I'm gonna have a uh, here. Here's a cliff of what I'm talking about. Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was recent too. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, Omega. So, uh, with Omega as well, actually, I um, I went to a convention and the original Omega was there. Really? And I was with Dom, and Dom was like, uh, "Yes, so uh, he's going to be playing um, uh, Omega in the next episode of uh, That's Doctor a Who." Weirdly good Dom, man. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be so mad. I'm, sorry, Dom. <laughs> I'm sending um, this exact clip to him. There was beforehand. actually there was actually joking at one point in How Time Flies. Um, Luke was like, "Yeah, we need a, we need." Um, I'm waiting for Dom to come over to dub over uh, these parts. <laughs> And so, I don't know if it made it in, but somewhere in How Time Flies, the original version, I am Dom briefly. <laughs> For all of a few moments, oh, I was yeah. playing Dominic J. Greenwood Martin. Hello. Um, I'm so sorry, Dom. I love you. I love you so much. It, was, it's, it is weirdly good, though. Right, so, sorry. We, off track. I've been his friend for, like, seven years. I'm, at this point, I am I'm very familiar with him. So, yeah, he's um, played Omega. Who else have you played? Omega. Not casting Series 5, because I'm going to get in big trouble. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I can't say... Yeah, I can't say any of Series 5. I was about to. And I was like, oops. <laughs> You're in it, and I have no... I know lots of spoilers, so... He knows nothing. And he got, um, I have got a sniper trained on me at all times, yeah. just in case. Yeah, I can see him now. He's in the yeah, trees. Hello, Luke. All right, mate. Yeah. yeah. He's brought his dog as well. He hates you. <laughs> Absolutely hates you. So, yeah, Omega. Who else? <laughs> Omega. I was the Archelon in um, How Time Fly. Uh, not How Time Fly. Uh, in uh, Fall of the Doctor. I was Canine in Fall of the Doctor. Right. Um, briefly. I was also Alpha Centauri in Fall of the Doctor. <laughs> now, that's a good role. It was. I, I can't do it now because I was younger back then. Oh, of course. <laughs> and now it's not quite as good as it it kind of just breaks. It just... Yes, it's good like this. Yes. Anyway, it, was, <laughs> it was just, it was, yeah, it was just like, oh, doctor, hello. You know, <laughs> Eckersley, oh, Eckersley. Um, <laughs> and so we were, we were doing that, and uh, and then and the, the best part of that movie for me is the Alpha Centauri scene because <laughs> Alpha is talking to Omega. <laughs> So, oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm both characters, and it's just like, <laughs> what have you done, Alpha Centauri? And then it's suddenly like, I don't know. And, it's like, and then it's just, and he's going, tell me where the time scepter is, and it's just like, I don't know. And I'm, like, I just, I'm going. Oh my god, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Why? Yeah, acting against yourself. I don't, I don't know anything about that. It's like pitch here, pitch there. Yeah, it's that's, just, you it, should have just included yourself, just as yourself in the middle. Just yeah. Be like, yeah. So this is me normal. Yeah. Here's me. <laughs> and then here's me. <laughs> the, the, if you ever hear the full audio, there, there's a behind the scenes video that got put out with a little bit of it. But I, right. I was literally there's like a three hour long recording of me <laughs> doing all of the Omega lines. It was like 188 lines, I think. Oh god! And so doing this for so many hours after a while, you're just kind of there with like no head left, and I'm just there like. <laughs> I'm I've I've gone insane. By the end, I was Ryan Reynolds. Effectively, I was just oh, there, like God, I was yeah. like, "How are you doing? Oh my gosh!" You know, <laughs> it was just like, "Oh yeah," it was weird. Uh, we've only made it into like four of them at this point. Um, I was also a Dalek earlier on. I think that's getting remastered, so I may no longer be a Dalek. Oh no! Um, rest in peace, James rest Sutton, in peace, Dalek. My older clips. Um, <laughs> I was also Zardox, the hunter in one of his remastered series one episodes mm. um which uh what was it uh he he had a southern accent <laughs> it was <laughs> it wasn't deliberate but he was like talking like this and i was like <laughs> hey, luke luke was I, I i pitched it to luke as a joke effectively and he went yeah and no, i do that and i went what well, really <laughs> okay whoops <laughs> yeah literally every character has to have a different accent when it's because they're all me so i'm just there like okay um i guess southern american <laughs> not even southern american American, but in the South, because obviously South America is like South America, but like I'm talking like Texas, effectively. Oh. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And I'm but sure you offended no one. Probably not. Yeah. No. I'm I, sniper as well for me, actually. No, oh, it's it's them from so. From it's Texas. them. It's, <laughs> it's it's the Ohio's. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, after that, I I've I played a lot of ones in series five that I can't. I can probably say. Well, so I was Ashley Jones in How Time Flies, which has come out. Yeah. Uh, I can probably say that I am in 
another episode of Series 5 because I'm in all of the trailers that have come out so far. As, if you're in the trailer, that's fine. I'm in the trailer. There's pictures of me released. I'm playing my character from Tortured, which is from the... the oh, Tortured Rebirth? Yeah, Tortured Rebirth. Um, so we, 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 we're doing that. They've also just announced uh, at Overton Audios... Uh, oh, that we're yeah. doing a Tortured Rebirth uh, special for the 15th anniversary Ooh. of Torchwood. Oh, very nice. Um, When's that? Uh, that is October 22nd. Plug. Plug. There, is a, there is a brief trailer already oh. out. with, with uh, It stars me and Ben Walden, uh, along with a, uh, a guest cast, which I won't uh, uh. particularly spoil, but we do have some extra people popping up in the thing that you may recognise. Um, and so, no one, no one like, famous. <laughs> I, 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 I was it's actually Katie Manning! Katie Manning, we've yeah. got her back! She's playing Back Joker. from the train. Exactly. We, <laughs> we never mentioned the train. Um, don't mention the train. We we spoke before this, we don't mention the train. The, the train, yeah. <laughs> it was a dark day. K9 was there. So was Scott Hancock from Big Finish as well. Oh, was he? Um, yeah, it was a it was a whale of a ride. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so we went from "What's your favourite Sonic you made?" to K Nine and Katie Manning on a train. <laughs> so ADHD things. Nice. <laughs> that was that was the pure tangent. Also, this question two, and we're sixteen <laughs> minutes into the record. I'm so sorry. That's I'm fine. So, so I've got sorry. plenty of stuff. To be fair, I was saying this to Andy Dobson mm -hmm. that I do love people that go with tangents as opposed mm -hmm. to people that go, "Oh yeah, I did that," mm -hmm. and that's yeah. it. Like, okay. Thanks. <laughs> it's, it's, I feel like it's more natural. Yeah. Well. We've kind of, it's a conversation more than it is just, uh, you know, question, quiz sort of thing. Yeah. Also, I wonder how many people are tuning out just what, trying to figure out what's in the background oh, yeah. here. Because I bet you can probably see bits and pieces, but... Some of it's Doctor Who, some of it's not. Like, all of yeah. the stuff behind here is, is something else, so uh, the rest of it is Doctor Who. Yeah. Oh, just you wait. I'll be showing you around this room oh, yeah. later on yeah, in a separate video because I'm an asshole. Oh, wow. I did it with the Dobson Dalek thing and oh, I'm doing wow. it now. Okay. I'm saying it now. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. I wouldn't have done it to you. Don't you, don't you play favourites. <laughs> <laughs> Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> right. Number three of five. <laughs> well, actually, no, of four. Um, so, Time Fracture and Big Finish is two of the biggest things you're doing at the moment. Yes. So how did you, how did that even come about? How did you get involved? So with Time Fracture, um, I basically got a message from the art director of Time Fracture and he was just like, yo, could you uh, make... Yo. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, hey, yo, yo. <laughs> he popped up, he said, yo, yo, my G. Um, <laughs> can you help us out? Fam. Um, but no, uh, so no, he, he popped up and he was just, he, he said hello, you know, it was very formal, very nice, uh, very well written, he's a very lovely man. Um, and so uh, he, he, he just basically gave me a list and I said, I, I can do this, I can't do that, because there's some stuff I don't make, but I had pictures of it on my fingers, I have them in my collection, but they're not mine. Mm. Um, and so I said, yep, yeah, cool, I can do uh, these if you want. Uh, and so it was just, just a process of sort of uh, researching the stuff because what they wanted me to do was specific replicas it wasn't like unique things they wanted me to copy stuff from the show what's some of the stuff that you made specifically for them um i i w i have not been saying because it's it was it was you meant to go in and see it but oh i see due to the fact that you can't actually currently go and well uh, it's is there any in the trailers that you can sort of see in the background none of, none of my stuff's made into trailers however someone did post pictures of my stuff on their story and Time Fracture shared it so I've kind of gone you can use those ones yeah I'm, I'm kind of like well if people well, are posting okay, pictures what, pick, of them pick like your your favourite two let's say that two okay I'm my favourite was the timey wimey detector from Blink Very so nice. I made that for them I won't say where it is or what it's doing but it's in Time Fracture somewhere go find it so if, if you're looking uh, if you do manage to get back into Time Fracture, which it should be, it should be opening hopefully soonish. I hope I'm not We're official. For Don't October. take that. If, uh, yeah, October's when I'm expecting hopefully, but I, d I have no clue. Don't take that as red. Um, <laughs> but effectively, um, I did the Timey Wimey Detector, and then I also did the Sonic Lipstick from Sarah Jane. So that Very is nice. that is uh, also. I should somewhere. have got in contact for you for the Sarah Jane skit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I did see that, and I was just there, like, oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> I have to show you some of the Sonic lipsticks there in the garage. Um, but effectively, um, yeah, so I did those two, and then I was just kind of consulting on the lore of Doctor Who with them after a while. Um, 
And so, what did I do? Um, I can't, I'm trying not to say too much because obviously stuff that I will say spoils the the show. You're like Meg when I interviewed her. She's like, "So, what's your favourite thing you filmed?" Oh, it's a series five. Can't say. I'm like, "Oh, Meg." Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> it's because when it's me, I know what I'm doing in the sense of. I know what my stuff I can talk about, but when I'm like working for somewhere else, I'm kind of there like, right. what can I say? So Meg's probably there with a sniper with Luke behind her going, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, actually, what you can't see in that interview, she's, he's actually got a gun to yeah. her back. <laughs> just, just kind of there like, um, don't say a damn word. <laughs> <laughs> it's a loving relationship. It is, it is. They love each other very much. Um, and no, they do. I'm going to get in trouble. For that, <laughs> I'm, I'm so am I. I'm so, I'm so, we love you. Um, no, they're great. Um, I saw them the other day. They're very, very, very lovely people. Uh, but what was I going to say? Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, tangents. Uh, yeah, so Time Fracture, back on track. Uh, yeah, so I just went in. Uh, so I dropped off the props I'd made. Um, and, and then the art director went, do you want to go for a tour? And I was like, fuck. I was like, I was, I was, yeah. <laughs> Good save. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> so that was just a gut a reaction A family channel. Um, and so it was... Um, sorry, little Rory. So, uh, yeah, he said fudge. It's fine. It's, it's a, a chocolate. It's, is it? I thought it was a sort of... Is it chocolate? Fudge is, well, it depends on kind of fudge. Is fudge a chocolate? Well, fudge, fudge in itself is something, but like, like. Fudge See, Gemma's is... nodding. She's off. She, for once, she, for once in the world, she's actually here. I think, I think fudge is a separate entity, yeah. and then there's like fudge, which is wrapped the in chocolate. Fudge, like Cadbury's fudge. That's don't you, your... don't you side with him? Yeah. Don't you? You're not his boyfriend, <laughs> girlfriend. What? what? <laughs> Maybe she is my boyfriend. <gasps> <laughs> Plot twist. Welcome. Thank you. I haven't got one yet, so welcome. Um, uh, fudge is a chocolate. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Yeah, but yeah, no. So fudge isn't a chocolate. <laughs> That's the. It's not. Comment below. What is? Yeah, fudge? No, I'm gonna do a poll. <laughs> Polls. That's gonna be the next T-shirt. That's the next T-shirt. What is fudge? <laughs> Gosh, look at this big boy. It's rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, look at this big boy. I'm going to put that as a quote. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> Freshest thing in this kitchen is that pigeon. <laughs> um, now that was a tangent. <laughs> sorry. Um, time fracture. Time fracture. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, with Time Fracture, yeah, they, 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 he took me on a tour, um, and I went around, and so they've used my Instagram as reference, right. so there's some things in this room that appear in Time Fracture, so if you spot anything in the collection, keep an eye out, because Ooh. if in Time Fracture, the art director was going, yes, is it that, and I'm like... Oh, it's that, and he's going. Yeah, we got it. And I was just like, I, I, the, the art director did a solid job on everything because, right. like, he really cared about getting things right mm. and taking the time to get things right. So, like, I was very appreciative of all the hard work he was putting into the project as a whole because it was just like uh, the art director's Ryan O'Connor, by the way. Ryan O'Connor. I haven't said very his good. name, but Ryan O'Connor. <laughs> he, he is just art director. He is he is that props guy on Instagram. He is brilliant. Uh, he did he did a he did an absolutely stellar job of getting everything sorted and all of the little details. I mean a lot of other obviously a lot of other people worked on it, but a lot of the little details that I saw it was kind of like he he, he made sure they got put in and uh, us fans, I, as a fan, I appreciate that he took the time to do that because when I first went round, I made a lot of suggestions and stuff. Yeah. I was going, "Oh, you should put that there and do this <laughs> there." And there's a lot of in jokes and stuff that I hoped that would get added. And then when I went around, I, did, I went to the dress rehearsal of Time Fracture. Did you? I did. I got I got invited because oh. I've worked on it, so I got I got free tickets to go along and um, free. Mm. I, I yeah yeah <laughs> the, je the pure jealousy. <laughs> um, well, yeah, so I, 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 we, we, anyone who got to work on it, we got to go around. And so um, when we went, uh, basically only me and my friend were cosplaying because it was oh, like no. the dress rehearsal. <laughs> so there were some. There were, I think there was like a Jodie maybe or something. But so there was, But we, when we were going around, it was just us and then a bunch of people who'd worked on Time Fracture and their extended families and maybe some people from like the BBC and stuff like that. And so we were just there, me and my friend, the only ones basically in costume, just like, hi. Hello, how are you? Is that where your current profile picture came from? You as tenants? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, as, uh, I was just like, I'm not going to miss the opportunity to go to a Doctor Who themed place where they've got all the sets and props and stuff. Well, you were the cool one. Yeah, it's true. Well, the 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 best thing about going when you go dressed up is the fact that they then pick on you, effectively. Oh, really? Yeah, so suddenly the, all of the actors are just going, you look very familiar. Have I seen oh, you around? And I'm, and I'm going, just got one of those faces, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> you know, is what it is. You should have um, gone... Well, well, yeah, I suppose. Uh, there was a, so there was a lady um, who was. 
I can't really say where, but effectively there was a lady inside Time Fracture, and I, I, I removed my mask for a reason that was legal. Um, and so she was just like, uh, she she was went, oh, I thought you were David Tennant until you did that, and I was just there like, oh, and then you just fainted like, ah, oh. I was just like. <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to go hit, get hit by a bus. I think it's time. I've, I've lived my, I've lived my purpose. That's, I've hit my peak. I've hit, I've peaked. It's all downhill from here. The hair will go. <laughs> I will be nothing. Um, but sorry, I got very depressing. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway, back to where we were. We, we, we went from the tour part of Time Fracture. But effectively, I went on a tour. Uh, I pointed out a bunch of things. Uh, I helped a lot of the actors. Oh. So. Um, there was a lot of so they knew the, ba- the you know the main stuff effectively, but there was some stuff that they got given by the BBC, uh, like Screen News stuff that was so random. Right. And I was kind of the, and so uh, some of the actors were going, oh yeah, um, do you know what this is to the art director? Oh. And he was just like, I, I don't mate, because they weren't labelled properly. And stuff. That's a Star Trek prop. What's that doing here? <laughs> yeah, there, there was actually a Wizards versus Aliens prop. And I think <laughs> it's still in there. They literally, I was just there, like, and they went, do you know what this is? I'm like, that's a, that's from Wizards versus Aliens. Why is so the BBC have just it's canon given that over effectively? And I've gone okay, um, but yeah, so they've got a bunch of sort of random props, and so uh, they they were just like, do you know what this is? And I literally was, I was just there, like, I know what it is, I know what it is. Don't say it, don't say it. And I just went. It's, it's this and he went oh right and he said do you know what that is and I literally went around basically the whole room telling them what everything was and I was like I'm so sorry to the art director and he was just like oh no no it's fine can, can you do that for like every room and I went what and he, so we went around every set <laughs> and there's like 17 different worlds to explore as well um, that's pretty good there now is there's an advert all different it was on the advert this is actually <laughs> sponsored by Time Fracture sponsored by Time Fracture got the uh, oh there, there we go got the merch uh, Operation Time Fracture um, oh dude that that's the dream if it I is. could no, I've got this as well <laughs> yeah come yeah. on Time Fracture you know you want to use my projector just had uh, had, had, had <laughs> the Hugh Community <laughs> show on the back and just sat on my yes. bed <laughs> funnily enough I've actually this is sort of off topic again but I actually I emailed have we been on topic <laughs> no um, I, I emailed recently one of the directors of Time Fracture to try and get oh, an like interview Tom for Miller it or someone, yeah yeah, yeah that's mm-hmm. exactly who no I got ghosted <laughs> I, I've Zero Tom response. Miller's got no time for you. He hasn't. <laughs> yes. I even tried it with Nick Briggs, but that was never going to go anywhere. No, <laughs> Nick. Nick. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, I've never been able to talk to Nick really for interviews. I met him at a few conventions and stuff. Oh, yeah. um, he was he was at one where I was a Dalek for the day, and so he posed with me, which was quite nice. And he was at the experience closing. So oh, I, I met him. There. I wish I went to the when it was closing. Yeah, I went. I, I wasn't going to go, and then last minute, my mates were like, "Do you just want to stay with us?" And I went, "Yeah, okay." Then so I went down, and I was like, "I can't believe I." thought I wasn't going to go to this one. <laughs> like, like I was just like oh, I'm not fussed and then I was just like I, I whoa okay. then you just started crying like oh, what <laughs> yeah yeah so um, me and my friend went down the day before actually and we went in uh, with a bag full of costumes to do every scene of Tenant in the TARDIS as a picture <laughs> oh so, yeah I've seen a few yeah of them. so yeah, we, yeah. we were like stood there with a bag of like costumes and we were just changing next to the console <laughs> putting it like I was just like right we're doing this scene now and then everyone's just watching like what is he doing we, yeah my five year old was the picture but he yeah. keeps just taking his clothes yeah. off I'm, I'm, I'm just i'm just there like it's 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 got to be done okay oh, i don't want to go that's the one we're gonna do next. It's, it's this is the next costume um <laughs> yeah i did i don't want to go i did the letter scene with renette um, oh very nice in the fireplace um Ooh. people are leaving uh it's the sniper he's he's, he's decided he's got to go for lunch um but yeah um <laughs> Effectively, yeah. So where are we? Time fracture. Let's get back. Let's, <laughs> let's reel that back in. So you were you were looking around the seventeen different unique worlds. Oh, seventeen worlds. <laughs> um, and so we we went round them, and I sort of told the actors and some of the stage managers what all the props were, um, so they knew where episodes that what episodes they were from. You know, you know what their functions were in said episodes. Oh no, sniper's back from lunch. Um, Quick lunch. It is. Must be hungry. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to bolt the door. <gasps> now there's no escape. <laughs> dun dun dun. Now, thumb screws or guillotine? What's, mm. what's your preference? <laughs> I prefer the old stocks. I'm bolting the door just because the the door will fly open and oh, the good. camera will. Yeah, the, the, the camera will be twonked with every magnolia tie they've ever made. Exactly, it's magnolia. There's worse ways to go. <laughs> what? It's magnolia. You called it Magnolia. <laughs> Steel Magnolias. I'm a fake fan. No. Oh, no. I've been outed. You've, it's, yeah. So, sorry. I just, I, I see people type that all the time. And I'm just like, I'm just like, it's, it's I'm a big fan of the, uh, big fan of the flower. Magnolia. Oh, yes. That's for the uh, tenant, uh, tenant, tenant glasses. glasses. which are up there. Oh, yes. There we go. We're getting a prop out, boys. Yeah, here we go. And girls and, and others. And, you know, all, the, yes. yes. 
There we go. They're fake, so I don't. <laughs> yeah, I can't actually see anything. Wait, this is, we're faking disabilities here. This is <laughs> <laughs> sudden. I smell benefit fraud. Um... <laughs> For God's sake! I do feel cleverer though with these glasses on, so they serve their purpose. <laughs> there we go. We're still going though. Wow. Is it... <laughs> it just reached the limit. It can only go for half an hour, then automatically stop. Oh, we've been doing this half an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so you were moving around the time frame. You were saying, you were saying what prop goes where. You were like, those are River Song shoes. That was this. This was that. I don't know. How did you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. Just think, that, it, as it was one of the weird things that came up in Day of the Doctor, I just assume that appears. Yeah, they did post pictures of River Song oh, shoes online. Anyway. That helps too. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So they're, they're they are in there. Um, and so, yes. So I went around the sets, told the managers and stuff what these things were, and they were bringing me stuff like offerings. <laughs> they were going, <laughs> just bend it down. Do you know what this is? And I'm just there, like, yes, sadly I do because I am a nerd. <laughs> That's a sunny screwdriver. You know this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't anything like that. They, they knew all the main stuff. They had all that right, down. Yeah, but yeah. like, um, I'm trying to think of something that's not too spoilery that means nothing to this this show. Um, Okay. Means nothing. Everything means something to this show. I'll, I'll I'll probably say this. I've been trying not to say too much because I don't want to spoil. But effectively, they brought me a scroll, and <laughs> and I kind and of they said to pray to it. I looked at the scroll and I and and they were like, "Do you know what this is?" And I was quickly. Uh, that, so this was on. This was later on. They were messaging me stuff. This kind of stuff. So this this is embellishment, effectively. But uh, they 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 were showing me pictures of this, this scroll and I'm going, "Do you know what this is?" And it was the scroll from Fires of Pompeii, the one that has the prophecy of the blue box and the time oh. of fire. And, all that kind of stuff and it's like the prophecy is wrong that one effectively <laughs> so they had a picture of this and I, I was just looking at it going I shouldn't know what that is I shouldn't just go it, did it immediately click too yeah because it had, a, <laughs> it had I, I, I mean so first of all I recognised it from the episode but then it had the blue box and the word Vulcan on it and, and the in the eye you know the civil line sisterhood um and so I was just there like, yeah, I, I know what that is. And, and, and you went, Karen Gillan's touched this. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Uh, did she? Was it was it the other one? I don't know, they all, they all look the same. Um anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Sibylinist. Um <laughs> No <laughs> New T shirt as well. No, um <laughs> Sibylinist. <laughs> just, it's just, just one of them with the eyes going, <gasps> Yeah, I was gonna, I was thinking that just a surprised eye like <gasps> <laughs> That should be an emoji. <laughs> yeah. Um it is. It's like Pan's Labyrinth. <gasps> um but I'll be yeah. in the Discord. <laughs> I'll make that an emoji. Um but yeah, so effectively um what was it? What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, and another one which, again, random, um, but... Oh, I can't really say too much. Did they post a picture of it? I think they did. Um, we'll so, soon find one out. of the worlds which they did post a picture of is um, Leonardo da Vinci's workshop. Oh, yes, I saw that. And so, inside Time Fracture, they, uh, there was a prop in another set which wasn't from that set, effectively, and it was the Giuseppe's Puzzle Box from the Mona Lisa's Revenge the Sarah Jane episode. Oh, what a fun detail. And so I was sat there like, only I would know that on like <laughs> some people would. That's a good episode though. I know it is a good episode, but like like in when you're in a room with Doctor Who and they bring you a Sarah Jane Adventures prop, which right. is from like series like three. Yeah. And so it's like not even like at the start, it's like mid sometime and like it wasn't like it was it was just briefly sort of on screen and stuff like that. And so I was just there like Yes, I know what that is. And so I went, we need, you know, Giuseppe was the neighbour of Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah. This needs to go to Leonardo da Vinci's workshop because that's where it all fit nicely. That's fine. So on the bookshelves is Giuseppe's puzzle box if you're looking effectively at the back. Ah. Which is just we fun. should make like a treasure hunt for Time Fracture. I was thinking of doing this, but I didn't, obviously I couldn't spoil it, so I was going to wait. Um, but I didn't know what to do because obviously I was like, I don't want to spoil stuff. But there's stuff like that which no one is going to spot effectively yeah. unless you're looking for it like right. there's lots of easter eggs to spot and they do they weren't lying when they said there's a load of easter eggs to spot but like stuff like that effectively yeah. but like stuff like that is stuff that people might not notice so if you look at the bookshelves though there was Giuseppe's puzzle box tucked away on it wow um, and it does it does you twist it and it opens up to become the key to open the abomination and all that and it literally works and then Clyde makes K9 out of yeah, the yeah exactly spoilers spoilers. Um, spoilers and the dandy high woman's there with no mouth yeah um, Susan Sarandon's in it Love, love, love. Just, just listing facts I know about this. We've just gone off on a tangent about this episode now. So it was great. 10 out of 10. 10 um, out of 10, yeah. Love yeah, it. Yeah. This yeah. is actually a review channel now. This is a review we channel. do look like early days review of death. <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. Batman Marge, interview 
Yeah. <laughs> Next in-person interview. I um, swear to God, if I could, I if, would. Yeah. I, I offhandedly asked him, and he, I just again, I got ghosted. So I'm assuming it's a polite no. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe he's just busy. You know, he, works, he is busy. He's got the, the new cast, series going. He? he sure does. does. I applied for the Oxcast cast too, and they said a polite no. I'm getting a lot of polite no's. Maybe just. Maybe just unlikable, Jack. I think I should just stop trying. Yeah, maybe it's time. It's time. It's time. <laughs> My death. My um, death. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right, you know what? Before we go off on a million tangents, last question. Right. And it's about cosplay this time. Oh, my word. Oh, yes. Who would have guessed? Mm -hmm. So, your, one of your big things, much like uh, Doctor Who Collector, is screen accuracy. Yeah. What, uh, what would you say makes it... How do I phrase it? makes it more fun to have it be screen accurate as opposed to like cobbled together where's uh, the fun for you my fun comes from nowhere it comes from my obsessive need to be perfect uh, <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first no i i i no, I, I so basically for me to enjoy myself like i i had um obviously you, we all start out with stuff like i had like a, a a one that was made in china and it was like 15 pounds effectively from a friend and it did the job you know it was good i was you know 16 and it was fine um then i realized it didn't really fit very well for me mm. and all that kind of stuff and so then i was like right i'm gonna get um the bamboo teak one which was like the next one up effectively is like you know 200 cent quid it's it's nice but then i was like Oh, but I want the Magnolia, so if I'm already paying 200 then I might as well just save up a little bit more and then get the other one, and then I'll be happy because it's the, you know, the one. Yeah. And so, and the other thing for me is also, I was like, this is going to be a main cosplay. Like, there's some cosplays where I go, I'm not spending that much money on it, because if I spend that much money on it, I'll wear it once and never wear it again, and it will just be put into a cupboard forever, and I'll be constantly moving it around going, one day I'll wear you again. But, like, <laughs> I did Grindelwald from uh, Fantastic Beasts, and everyone's favourite Harry Potter character exactly and I was like I've got to dye my hair blonde again to wear you um, and, and I was just like it's just effort and so I only spent like 100 on that I was like that's fine that's nice that's done put you in the cupboard you may come out again at some point in your life um, but with the Tenant one I had I bought the, my first Magnolia suit in 2017 mm. and I have worn it consistently to the point that the buttons are changing I've had to re the lining it's faded I'll show you the fading as well it's, oh yeah yeah. It's, it's gone from a nice dark brown to a kind of... I, I can't even describe... It's just faded brown. Effect. Beige. It's, yeah, it's completely cream <laughs> now. Uh, it's all editing. Um, but no, uh, it, was just, it was just a case of that. that I was just like, okay, I like having the things. And I, I don't go crazy with screen accurate in the sense of like the ties because sometimes they go up for like lots of money on ebay so is that not all magnoli magnoli ties um so that, there's a lot of ties i'm looking at so a lot of them are magnoli but i can see a, a debenhams uh, the day of the doctor one that's where i got my ones yes personally. i've got i have three originals um <laughs> nice. i've got uh the two st george by duffer ones um which were worn in utopia uh, <laughs> so utopia is that one which will... You pointed at every single time. <laughs> Here we go. We can make it more interactive. So we've got Utopia. Um, where is the other one? There it is. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Avalanche. So this is the Utopia tie. Very nice. And so this was worn from Utopia, Sound of Drums, and uh, Last of the Time Lords by David. Um, it was also worn by John Sim as well in Life on Mars. Was it? Yeah. Oh. It po he pops up in it. Fun fact. Fun fact, yeah. So there was a Life on Mars where, uh, episode where the Master is wearing the one that David Tennant is wearing when he meets the Master. So, <laughs> yep. Just to make it extra confusing. Extra confusing. Then we've got the St. George by Duffer tie, which was worn on the 50th anniversary. Um, this pops up like everywhere, like Dara Breen was wearing it in one episode like, <laughs> of the week. Um, it's just everywhere. Dara O'Brien confirmed as number 14. He is the next Doctor. Yeah. Um, the and, first Irish Doctor. Well, Dan, Dan will kill you. Um, oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's that one. And then this is my baby. Um, this is the. <laughs> is that your favourite? This is my favourite. This is the rarest one, so I'm like, I love you. Um, this is the Massimo Duty tie, um, which was worn uh, in the Doctor's Daughter, and briefly at the end of the Sontaran stratagem. Oh right. Um, and so, and David also wore it on like hosp hospital visits to like Great Ormond Street and stuff. Oh. Um, and so, yeah, I, I I got this one on eBay for like 
40 quid it <laughs> popped up and no one had seen the listing and I messaged the seller like please <laughs> please quick <laughs> right now please before the you. nerds come yeah. down yeah, I was like, let this nerd have it I was like thank you please thank you. and then he was like yeah sure and I was like thank you I love you <laughs> and so <laughs> Just um, yeah basically so yeah uh, this this is the the, the rarest one of the lots um, and so only me and like I think Four of us, maybe three, maybe. Had and every collector just starts punching their screen like, "No, you! It was you! Yeah. I saw that listing before it went it, down." It, it's Dog Two Collector. He he, <laughs> he he messaged the seller at the same time as me. Did um, he? But I got there first, thankfully. Ah. Sorry, sorry, Thomas. Love you. Um, but yeah, so um, that's what happened there. So those are the accurate ones. There mm. is another one, uh, which is the stripy one. You see the blue and brown stripy one. That's oh a, yeah. That's a rocker, John Rocker, which was bought by the production. Mm. Um, to be used but then they decided it didn't go very well with the costume yeah um, so you can usually find those as a nice sort of see I'm trying to guess the episodes have seemed clever but the only one I know is the end of time slash 11th hour one because of to me it's quite iconic do you, do you want to go through them <laughs> Jesus Christ uh, <laughs> we, we can save that for the look around which the we will do video. well we yeah. will film it now but you get to wait another day I'd stick my middle finger up but I'm not allowed yeah <laughs> <laughs> I've with these self-imposed rules mm -hmm. well thank you for coming on the show no Mr worries. Sutton no we've worries. known each other for God knows how we many years we used to play Minecraft together we when we sure were, when did we were 14 <laughs> <laughs> Before I even knew your name, it's it's like um, I didn't know who you were. Either. We never talked as well. We as didn't. Well. No. See, it's much like um, oh, but Harry. Mm -hmm. It's uh, much like him. It's like I knew him for years, but mm -hmm. I only knew him as his username. It's yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. With you. Same with same with. Um, are we allowed to send the names, or do I just go Didry Newman? <laughs> oh well, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, Didry Newman. He's a, he's a YouTuber. He's mm -hmm. still going. Yeah. So yeah, he on his server it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day. Good oh, times. Good times, sort of. <laughs> 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 it was an interesting set. <laughs> but yes, interview over. Next Thank part you. of the show, whatever that is. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm doing? laughs> so, I forgot about something. We're going to do it now. Okay. You may remember, for Doc 2 2012, I annoyed them with this quiz. Oh, yeah, right. So I've got something similar. I've got a little challenge for you. Okay. Now, in my bag, I have this, which you may think is a nice Malbec. It is not. I was thinking, you've treated me. This <laughs> is where I keep my sonic screwdrivers. Oh, wow. Because I'm a cool guy. I'm not mm. alcoholic. So, I want you mm. for a special wrapped prize. Ooh. It's a mystery prize. I need you on the sofa mm. to put them in screen order. In order of when they first appeared. Correct. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> uh, on here or on the sofa? Uh, on the sofa. I, I think that'll do. I'll zoom it in on your ass. There we go. Oh my god, this is too quick. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it really fast. I wasn't expecting this. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh God! Oh, 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 nearly! I nearly got him. That's the dare, the oh, I nearly tricked him. Oh, oh, versions of this. Oh yeah! You, you think I made this easy for you, Sutton? Earliest version with the button. Touch one. That was from. The, oh no, this is the uh, other one. Okay. I don't know which order these two came out in the toys wide. Um, then twelve and fourteen. Now let me double check. Okay, audience at home, let's <laughs> let's look. Let me just double check that list. No idea. <laughs> it's no idea. You know what? I think James Sutton, you've done it. You've okay. you've only gone and done it. You've only got. <laughs> yeah. I, interesting though. Though I'm 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 now questioning myself. I'm, I'm very like. I mean, no, you got it wrong. I'm like, <laughs> so I put them in order of when they appeared timeline-wise because this is obviously Day of the Doctor, so that means it comes in the specials year of the ten. Obviously. But does that come later on with the Matt Smith one technically? Because that's the Doctor. true. It depends how you count. God, I'm pedantic. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm very like. Mm. That's that broke wood. Yeah. Really quick, though. That yeah. was quick. You know what? Either way. With the, with the speed, I'm going to allow you, Thank you to see your prize. There's going to be people like. What is it? That's a question. What is it going to be? What, what's it going to be? Uh, let's have a look. If I can open it. Oh my god! What is it? It's a Doctor Who mug! It's a mug! With, with Peter Davison on it! Yay! Wow! wow look at this! Don't say I know give presents. I know! Wow, I can add that to my collection, which you can't see because they're all behind this, but effectively I've got a bunch of mugs where I store everything in yeah, there. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. We'll do a tour, but yes, mugs. Yes. 
mug. That's going to go right there. Peter Davison can stare at me. Congratulations. A man is the sum of his memories. A time will even more so. Oh, just gives you something to think about. It does. It really does. It's deep. <laughs> it's deep. The Oliver Ryan. Yeah, there you go. Good thing I remembered that. Very well done. <laughs> Very, you were